I wanted to talk to you about something that came up a couple weeks back when we posted the video about using lights to continue egg production. Somebody on a forum mentioned that they like to do the natural thing. They like to give their chickens the break that nature intended throughout the winter and not use lights to continue production. Well, hey, if you want to give your chickens a vacation, that's great. Everybody loves a vacation. But I wanted to talk a few minutes about why chickens take that break throughout the winter so that you could make an educated decision as to whether or not you would use lights and all the other things that we do uh, to continue production in your own coop throughout the winter. So to figure out whether or not that's a good decision, you gotta think about why chickens lay eggs in the first place. Well, chickens don't lay eggs so that we can eat omelets. They lay eggs so that their species can continue, so that there's chickens forever. This means that the chicken's reproductive system responds to the world around it, the conditions around it. The reproductive system realizes whether or not it's a good time to have chicks. So consider, as the light diminishes heading into winter, the chicken's reproductive system realizes that in fact winter's approaching, which is an awful time to raise young. During the winter, there's snow everywhere. That means there's not gonna be a lot of feed available to an animal in the wild. It's gonna be cold. It's just not a good time to have babies. And so the reproductive system of the chicken slows down. That way the chicken will go clear through the winter without hatching chicks. And the chicks will show up in the springtime, like lots of birds. Picture all the little eggshells you wind up finding in the springtime, in trees, in nests, because birds have their young when it's good, when it's warm, when it's nice. Think about deer. Deer have their reproductive cycle. It begins in the fall with breeding, but the babies are all born in the spring when there's lots of feed, lots of forage. The mothers can generate enough milk to keep the babies healthy. They don't have their fawns in February. You were to let your chicken out of your coop to run free, the same thing would happen. Even in the summertime, production would slow because they wouldn't be getting the same high quality feed. They wouldn't have the same access to water or safety. And so the reproductive system would slow production. It wouldn't produce as many eggs because it's not good to produce young when the conditions are wrong. Here's the thing, our chickens aren't wild. They're domestic chickens. And so we can make sure to give them the right conditions so that their natural reproductive system can realize these conditions are good and continue production. If you keep a chicken in a warm coop with plenty of light, with plenty of feed, you're creating the perfect conditions. It's as if you move that chicken from New England to Costa Rica where they wouldn't experience low light conditions and where their laying wouldn't slow down. So when you have domestic chickens, you can give them those same conditions throughout the winter. You can give them warmth, you can give them plenty of food, plenty of water, and you can keep the light from diminishing. That way their body recognizes naturally, hey, these conditions are good, I can keep laying. Now remember, when a chicken hatches, it has all the eggs inside its body that it's ever going to lay. So by having a chicken lay throughout the winter, you're not unnaturally making this chicken lay more eggs than it was going to. You're just providing the right conditions for its body to respond to and thus keep production up throughout the winter. Essentially, you're moving your birds down to Costa Rica for the winter. Who wouldn't like to spend the winter in Costa Rica? So consider that as you head into this winter. If you wanna give your girls a break, by all means. A vacation is nice for everyone, but if you have mouths to feed like I do, five to be exact, then maybe you'll decide to keep your girls in the right conditions so their bodies can naturally respond to that continuing production throughout the winter. So think about it. Maybe you'll decide to give your chickens a break and maybe you'll send them to Costa Rica. Speaking of egg laying, we have seven eggs to collect this morning. Production has gone up since we've installed these lights. So if you don't have an egg basket, but you, if you do have a hoodie, you can put them in your hoodie. All right, everybody. So that's the 101 behind chickens, winter time, and eggs. Make the choice, decide whether or not you want to continue production throughout the winter. And don't forget, go to nwsupply.net to get your 10% off Leatherman. We'll talk to you next week on Homesteading. That's kind of weak. Okay.
kind what's kind of weak? Nice. 